I just shocked myself. Hello, friends! Welcome back to another mailbox goodies with me, Aziza. Um, I'm actually going to do a couple mailbox goodies because I have a couple things that I want to do separately. So I think the first thing we should start with is um, an item that I recently purchased, which is kind of new for me because I'm not very good at this kind of thing. So the item is um, a Wanderlust set of half pan watercolors. Now, Wanderlust was created by Kata, who is on Instagram. I will include her Instagram handle below for uh, the Wanderlust watercolors. And uh, she actually lives in Ontario. So it's very exciting. I have met her. I met her at the Scriptus Pen Show. She's lovely, not surprising. So, um, she recently posted an update on the um, on the Instagram that she will be re-releasing, like setting, putting out a new batch of um, the donut shop watercolors. Anyway, long story short, I set my alarm, I was awake on time, and I made my very first purchase on Etsy for the donut shop. A couple days later, it arrived, so let me show you what came with. Wait, yes, it came with, okay. It, everything was actually in this like adorable little thing with like washi tape holding it in. So it's like, hello! Inside is a postcard. Very cute. These were once real donuts. I mean, real donuts were used in the imagery of this postcard. <sighs> it also came with a little sheet of paper that tells you a little bit about the watercolor. These paints are made from professional artist grade pigments that are rated Good to excellent in light fastness, they have been hand mulled into creamy dreamy submission using my own homemade binder base that has been tested and retested to allow you to easily rewet your pens. So some more information on here. Um, it, it's it's I actually found it for myself like as a very very new watercolor user. Uh, I found it very useful because it tells you a bit about the nature of handmade watercolors and um, that it contains trace amounts of clove oil and honey and why that is in there. So I think that's actually really great. You know what? I think my camera's slightly tilted, so just give me one second. It didn't say it was tilted when I was doing this. Anyway, but I'm looking at it and it's just like a little bit off there. Anyway, so it came with this came with this and so if any um, watercolor newbies are out there this kind of thing is super useful next it came with like the cutest business card oh my goodness I can barely function this is so adorable it's beautiful so I really like this great stuff great design really cute um, before I show you the, sh the collection let me just also mention that I also ordered a pack of stickers which is really cute because okay so it's just one of these really cute i really like the design of the logo so i thought i would just get one and then this one which is it's beautiful i mean oh my goodness i can't even do this kind of thing with watercolors like i don't know how to do this yet i'm still learning so it should be really fun to explore so aside from the stickers I also received a little gifty. Um, this is a copper sample, like a dot sample card. This is great because in addition to the donut shop that I ordered, I was also considering getting the copper. But you know what? I thought to myself, okay, don't be greedy. Don't hoard. I don't even know how to use watercolors. So maybe wait before getting this. And copper is my favorite of the metallics. So it's just really awesome that she happened to know that. And actually, she probably didn't know that. She probably just guessed. But I'm really excited about this. Anyway, enough my chit chat. Let me show you the donut shop. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? I selected the half pan because um, I really don't know what I'm doing. So I thought, you know what? Let me just start small instead of the full pan. So this is the tin it came in. I did add the tin in my purchase, which was totally reasonable, very affordable. Of course, you're if you're super experienced with watercolors, you might have a million tins. I have, I don't have extra, so. This is what it is. It has a little um, decal uh, like stuck on of her, like the silhouette of the logo, which I think is beautiful. Okay, but prepare yourself for this. I can barely contain how, like contain myself when I look at how cute this is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it comes with six colors. Blue, blue raspberry glaze, plum glaze, blue blair. Oh, I cannot talk. Blueberry glaze. 
It's like a tongue twister. Cherry glaze, ganache, and fritter. And these are named after like the glazes on donuts. And if you are a donut connoisseur, you will know that this is pretty accurate. So I'm gonna just dump them into my palm just to show you the empty tin. Oh, so cute. And then I'm going to show you my palm. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip down and we're gonna just like unpack each little thingy because I think it deserves that attention. So let's do that and uh, I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, bye. Okie dokie, here we are with the Wonderlust watercolors. This is the Donut Shop collection. And okay, so I just wanted to show you the copper dot. So cute. I've never had one of these like sample cards before. So I'm excited to just, I don't know, like use it. It's just so cute. Anyway, uh, let's move this stuff out of the way. Let's zoom in just a bit because we could get up close and personal. You can see the sticker. So we open it up. Oh my gosh. Okay. There is donut shop. Now she makes all of these. These are hand painted and written on and these are also hand painted. So I'm gonna zoom out a little now because we have seen this up close. So I wanted to open them up because it's just cute. And then this way I can remember and document how cute they are and like remember them forever. Okay, so I don't even wanna ruin this. Like I, I don't wanna open it because it's so cute, but I guess I have to. Okay, so it is glue, oh wait. <gasps> Can I, can I take them off? Oh my goodness, I can keep them. Oh, so cute. Okay, I'll do that one and then we'll open it. Okay, seriously, I cannot believe she folds these tiny little things so magically. It's, it's insane how cute this is. Now the half pan is itsy bitsy and adorable and I'm trying to open this carefully, but I think I'm just gonna have to rip it open because, just cause. Um, there is a uh, a magnet at the bottom to keep it in place and it says blue raspberry glaze on the bottom oh my goodness that looks delicious and w for the wanderlust on the side so we'll put this in place in the tin right there okay so we have first thing was blue raspberry glaze next thing let's do the plum glaze let's see if i can take that out again yes I'm sure those of you who are experienced in watercolors, like this is nothing to you. You already know how this is done, but for me, it's very exciting. Okay, so plum glaze, it's a little, uh, ever so slightly sticky, but she said that's normal. Uh, it says plum glaze on the bottom. There we go. I put the plum glaze in space. Uh, next we have blue blair, blue, oh my God, I still can't say it, blueberry glaze. Blue blairy glaze. Okay, okay, honestly, Kata is a mother to a young boy, and the fact that she can fold this stuff is, like, while also mothering is amazing. Blueberry, blueberry glaze, I think the, this one actually does not have a magnet, which is probably just forgotten, and that's quite alright because it's gonna be in here anyway. Next up, I have cherry glaze. And I'm gonna open it up. Peel this off slowly. It says cherry glaze on the bottom. There we go. It does have a magnet, of course. Next is ganache. Sorry, look, that you would think that this would not be difficult, but it's so small that my hands and my hands are just giant, so. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh, I want to smell it. Mm, okay. Last but not least is fritter. Oh, oops, sorry. Fritter, um, ganache. Some of you may know I'm on a, I'm on a diet where I cannot eat sugars like this. So it's just delicious to look at. There we go, fritter. Okay, friends, there we go, that's it. I just wanted to unpack this with you so you could see, and now I have it documented forever, so I will never forget how cute they are. All right. I think for this one with the magnet, I will just, I don't even know if I have any magnets, but I will let Kata know, and I'm sure she will have no issues with bringing me a magnet when I see her. 
There we go. And this is the remainders. Okay, that's everything. Uh, thank you for watching. If this was sort of fun, please like and subscribe. And you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon at Gourmet Pens. And that's everything. All right. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.